Now, Amazon isn't the only one beating estimates. 80% of the companies in the S&P 500 that have reported have done the same. Let's bring in Sheila Dharmarajan now for more. Beyond just beating the consensus, we are seeing this uh, comeback of the whisper number, Sheila. That's right, Scarlett. Wall Street is whispering a lot more this quarter. Now, whisper numbers, as you know, are unofficial earnings targets talked up by traders, and they're higher than analyst estimates that are published out there. Now, one reason they're back is that investors just aren't buying into company guidance anymore. Remember, companies issued third quarter guidance all the way back in June, so the economic outlook then was still pretty murky. But since then, investors have started to gain more confidence. The markets rallied 20 percent since June, and now they want to see that growth, and they have higher expectations for earnings guidance now, so they just aren't buying those old earnings estimates anymore. Now, I talked to Mark Pato, who's at uh, Kenner Fitzgerald, and he thinks that whisper numbers are a bullish sign, because that means that investors are much more bullish about, you know, what companies can deliver, so they're going to have higher earnings expectations. But Philip Orlando, he's chief equity market strategist from Federated Investors, he thinks that whisper numbers are unfair. He thinks it's not fair to companies to have a higher number floating out there. And a case in point is Goldman Sachs. The financial giant reported third quarter EPS of 525 a share, so blew out consensus estimates of 424 a share. But when you look at the stock, the stock actually fell, and that's because Goldman failed to beat whisper numbers placed as high as $6 a share, Scarlett. All right. Thank you so much, Sheila. Now, isn't there always a cat and mouse game when it comes to earnings and whether a company can beat estimates? Right. You know, people always talk about the earnings racket. Well, Ryan Jacob, he's from Jacob Asset Management. He said that he thinks about it as a kabuki dance. But another analyst told me, look, there's great precedents out there that if a company beats their estimates and guides forward, that the stock's going to rise. And a case in point, there is Apple. Here's a company that's beat estimates for the last 19 quarters, and the stock has rallied 13 out of 19 times. So we're just going to have to see how this kabuki dance plays out, Scarlett. All right. Thank you so much, Sheila Dharmarajan, on the Kabuki Dance of Whisper Numbers.